Hey everyone, it's April. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul for all of you, showing you what I picked up recently at some yard sales, some thrift stores, and even a flea market. I got all kinds of really awesome farmhouse goodies for some very amazing prices. So if you would like to see what I picked up, then keep on watching. And if you are new here, I would love for you to take a minute and hit that subscribe button. I post videos twice a week. Lately, I've been a little slacking because of working from home and the coronavirus, but I promise as fall and everything starts picking up, I will be more on schedule. So let's get right on into it. While I'm out here, I will start on the front porch and I picked up these old rustic and beat up flower boxes at a yard sale. The lady even threw in the metal clamps that you can hook them onto a railing. I originally wanted to put them um, around my window sills on the bottom part of my porch, but they are a little large, but um, I could use them on the railings as well and just stick like a wood clamp, but I got all of them for $1. And then moving over here, I got this really cute wagon. I found this on Facebook Marketplace for $7. And I really love the metal wheels and like the little handles or whatever you want to call them on the top. And I thought this would be great, especially in the fall, to fill with pumpkins and leave it out on my porch. Next, at a thrift store, I picked up this Baby It's Cold Outside sign. Now... I have many signs like this for other seasons that I've paid a good amount for. And this one looks like it was homemade, but it was only $1.99. So I had to pick it up because of the buffalo check. And I love baby, it's cold outside as a saying. And you can see on the back how it's not all the way painted. That's how I know somebody made it. But for two bucks, I think this will be a great addition to my Christmas decor on the porch this year. Next, also at a yard sale, I found these two pictures. They were brand new and they're just picture frames. The art that's in them I put in, they're just scrapbook paper. I was messing around with them. But they were from the Shabby Sheet Collection, which I'm not sure, I think Home Goods sells them like in rustic picture frames. But these are kind of like a shadow box style with the mat on the inside and they fit an eight by 10. So I'm not sure if I'll stick pictures in them or scrapbook paper like I did here but she sold me the both of them for seven dollars which I thought was a great deal for such large picture frames next um, these are just a few items that I picked up at Marshall's right after they opened I got two of these storage bins they were twenty dollars a piece and I got them for eight dollars and they're just like a nice woven material. I love these little pom-pom balls and just the two-tone of the baskets. And I thought these would work out really nicely in my closet room to store scarves, hats, anything like that. And then I also found this throw blanket. It's kind of like a white woven with some gray through it. And I really love like the tassel fringe on the end. And this was, I think, 30 some dollars and it was marked down to six bucks. So I thought, you know, this would look good all year round, especially in the fall and winter. I could put it on my blanket ladder, lay it across my bed. Options are endless, but I love decorating with throw blankets. Next at a yard sale, I found this old beat up window and i have it hanging up on the wall right now just to show you but it probably won't stay here i might be putting this above my bed with a wreath in the middle but this was only one dollar you know to some people like the stuff is junk and garbage but i just think it's beautiful rustic farmhouse decor so if you're ever at places yard sales thrift stores and you see things like this snag them up Next, I found this metal rusty heart at a thrift store and it was 99 cents. And I just put that command hook on, I'll explain in a minute, but they're, you know, it was just rusty. And then I got some white wax and filled it all in around the edges. And then I stuck a command hook on, got some greenery, wrapped some jute twine around it to make it kind of like a bouquet. And then I just stuck it on to the command hook and that way it would just sit in there nicely. 
and I just think that's a really neat little rustic piece and I'll show you what I did with it in my hallway I have two more of these like rustic old picture frames that I well they're actually windows but I use them as picture frames and then I just made like a little collage and just stuck them on in here. That little metal kind of sconce is from Hobby Lobby with the flowers. And then I just added the heart in there. And I don't know, something about the greenery, it just really took it to the next level. And I'm not sure where that flower is from, but I just thought this was an interesting little collection of things to display in my hallway. And for 99 cents, very unique piece. Moving on to some more thrift store finds. This so very thankful sign with the rustic orange wood on the side. This was originally from Michaels. It had a $10 tag on it and I got this for 99 cents. I found this cane tissue box. And I don't know, I just really have like a thing for the caning and it was only 49 cents. And I thought this would actually look nice up in my guest room. So we'll see what I do with that. And then I found this wooden kind of barn wood box and there's like a netting, like a screen inside of it. And I just really liked the distressing and that was actually $1.50 because it was half price. And I thought maybe that would be cool to use around Christmas time. I don't know, we'll see what I end up doing. Also from a thrift store were these light up snowflakes. I got the two of them for $1.99 and the lights are like on the tips. Uh, when I got them home, one of them, the light is out on a couple of the strands, but for the price, even if only one of them, you know, end up working out, I'll be happy and maybe I'll be able to fix the other one. But you know, I'm all thinking about fall, Christmas, Halloween, so any of those things I see when I'm out, I'm picking them up. Next, I found these wooden pieces at this flea market slash store that we went to and these were $10 a piece and what I plan on doing with them is I'm going to be making an awning that will go above one of my windows on the inside with some corrugated metal and I thought these would be perfect for it because they have like that old rustic barnwood look instead of making my own so I'm excited to share that with you when I get it complete. Next, I found this really pretty potted greenery. I like that it's like long, kind of like that long rectangle shape. And this had a tag on the bottom that said $10. I'm not sure what store it was from, but at the Goodwill, I got it for $2.99. And I really think the greenery looks high end. It even has like that powdery finish that I love. Next, moving on to shutters. I found a pair of these wooden shutters at a store that kind of has like, it's like an antique mall, you'd call it. I've sh shared it with you in many other videos, but I really liked how these were painted. They're like the perfect amount of gray, wood, white, distressing. It's just perfect, especially for my kitchen because it matches the backsplash. And I thought it would be fun to stick one of these in each of the corners to let some more light in instead of having the curtains on the bottom for the summer. And I'm just loving how that turned out. Also, I found these shutters when I was, um, where did I go for this one? Oh yes, this was also at that flea market. And all I did to these was just get a little bit of white paint and I dry brushed them. And I wasn't sure where I was gonna put them. I was gonna put them on a wall most likely, but then I had them up here to dry and I actually really liked it. I thought liked how it framed the TV and just gave it a cute little farmhouse touch. I found this awesome lantern at a yard sale. The girl was asking $10 for it. And I asked if I could give her seven and she accepted. And I just love the shape of it, how it's like squared off. And I don't know where this is from. I've definitely seen similar ones, but I just added this battery operated candle in there with the little Target greenery mini wreath that I had. And I don't know, I just think this looks really, really pretty with the fake candle. So I'm looking forward to changing it out and putting, you know, just other florals and greenery, things like that for the different seasons. 
Next, I found this white little enamel, I guess you'd call it, little um, tin with the little handle and I just stuck some greenery in it and I got that at a yard sale for one dollar and added it to my basket shelf. Last two items I have to show you are from that same yard sale. First was this little rustic chicken. It was holding an American flag and had like a patriotic bow on its neck, but I didn't really like that. I thought it looked more Easter and this was only $1 and I just took those off. And the final thing is this adorable rustic chair. I, I don't know, I just fell in love with it. I love the shape of it and the little spindles and there was a little crack in the arm, but it was only $1.50, so I just couldn't pass it up. I was in love and I know you guys always ask me where I find all these odd chairs, but I just get lucky. <laughs> And that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed. I really appreciate you watching. If you did enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up. And until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye!